Rosemary. Well, 9.15 on the clock. We want to talk about this exhibit on display right now at the Thatcher Gallery at the University of San Francisco. Joining us, we've got Kim Turner and Emily Lawhead to tell us more. So, student curators at USF, and we talk about this uh, in, in terms of when I was, you know, doing the research and looking on it, and the words that came up, a diverse, high caliber, uh, stimulating dialogue, you know, and, and social justice. This is the kind of exhibit that you guys have put together. So, yeah. tell me about the artist and, and, and his work. Well, um, Sandow Burke is a contemporary LA-based artist um, who's been working for many years. And for this project, he collaborated with San Francisco-based artist, master printer Paul Maloney, um, to create these 15 monumental large-scale woodblock prints that depict um, the very powerful scenes of the Iraq War. Um, and in many ways, it is, it's a very powerful exhibition that kind of ties into um, different trends of socially engaged art that kind of um, explore the recurring and cyclical, often senseless mm -hmm. nature of war, and to invite viewers to look at the moral and human obligations up close. Yeah, we see some of those images right now. And when you talk about um, the social justice and the mission and what you guys want when people walk in there and the thoughtfulness about it, in terms of timing, was there anything in ter in there's so much going on in our space yes. today to have this exhibit now? So, um, you know, our curatorial class, we really only had about two and a half months to get ready for this exhibition. And Sandow Burke had arranged uh, with our instructor ahead of time to have his work exhibited. And we were very fortunate that uh, a local um, co collector had the entire series. Uh, so I, I think the timing of launching this exhibition two days after the presidential election which, of course, was just uh, shocking, stunning uh, for, mm -hmm. for many people in the Bay Area, you know, the Bay Area tending toward, you know, more uh, the Democratic candidate, I think was, um, was a, a really um, interesting time to have an exhibition that's talking about these themes of equality and social justice and, um, you know, uh, violent rhetoric and, and the things that, uh, that were part of the whole Iraq war experience. Yeah, I mean, it, it keeps coming up and it keeps uh, being in our discussion about you know moving ahead in terms of curating this as students and, and going through this experience you know the Bay Area has this amazing art community and to see how that is displayed in order to decrease the conversation what kind of have you learned and, and the, what feedback have you gotten uh, since it opened we've gotten great feedback on the show in fact we, we um, created an interactive um, uh, place at the end of the exhibition for people to kind of weigh in with how they felt about the exhibition that they just saw so they're able to sort of vote using a colored peg for what kind of an emotional response mm -hmm. they have to the work and um, I have to say that that has been really um, rewarding to see how many people were, were moved inspired you know angered uh, sort of had a chance to sort of revisit their feelings about what happened when the Iraq war started and the many things that, that came up during that time. And really, I want to see if we can throw up some of those pictures again, because they're black and white. They're very, it, it, almost simplistic in nature until you stare at it for a little bit while longer, and then you kind of get brought into that scene and, and brought into what's happening. And you really, I don't know how long the average time someone spends in the exhibit, but, you know, I found myself kind of just sitting and settling in. Yeah, and these are eight feet by four feet, so they're really monumental when you walk mm -hmm. up to them. It, it takes a second to see the whole composition and then start to see the little details, and that's the nature of printmaking as a really beautiful medium in order to express these, these emotions and, and lines. Um, we also had a writing class from USF come to visit the exhibition oh, um, that we did kind of a curatorial talk for them, and one of the professors had said that it was a good way for his students to talk about the election without talking about the election and yes. to kind of reflect upon their own feelings um, in a way that was a little bit more impartial and more historically based and I think that's the power of socially engaged art because it's timeless and allows people to view their perceptions on a wide range of issues. And I imagine allows people to get in a conversation sometimes we don't know how to start the conversation exactly. that needs to be had. Exactly. Absolutely. And I think one of the really wonderful things about this particular exhibition is, um, you know, one of the things that we looked at and that Burke looked at was he was looking back at the whole tradition of socially engaged art around themes of war and armed conflict. 
uh, an artist back in the 17th century, Jacques Collot, did a series on the Thirty Years' War called The Miseries of War. And so there's a parallel. Uh, very in, parallel. Yes. Uh, so there were 18 of those um, etchings which were turned into prints and what uh, Burke did was he sort of used the composition, the tableau, the subject matter as a jumping off point for the, the uh, exhibition, that, or for the prints that he created and we show those in the exhibition side by side. Fascinating, yeah. fascinating. All right, let's put on our screen uh, about more information about this exhibition and when it's available. I think we spelled Thatcher wrong, did we? You did. Okay, <laughs> take out the T and then we're correct. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> but it's 12 to 6. Yes, yes every day. Six, it's every inside day. the library. Free. Free. Cost, I was saying <laughs> the, the cost public. is great. and and. Uh, all are welcome. Yes. yes. And we also wanted to just highlight, if we could, that uh, the, the owners of these pieces, the Rappaports, are actually going to be coming to the Thatcher Gallery on February 9th from 1, one to, to two, 2 in the afternoon for yeah. kind of a free discussion, wow. uh, talk with the public about these works and about their you know, their mission, their collecting, and what have you. And so we really invite everyone to come see this exhibition while it's still up. It's, it's, yep. it's powerful, it's, it's impactful, and we really are very proud of it. Fantastic. Well, thanks for coming in. We appreciate Thank it. You Thank you very much. So Congratulations yes. on the achievement. Thank, Thank you. you. Frank